Peace and jackhammer. Y'all country much? You hear that last little bit? It's supposed to do that the whole time and really like shake some stuff up. The problem's all down in here. There's a 15 minute video. Guy does a very in, uh, good job of showing you every little detail and all this stuff. I'm gonna try to make this fast. I'm fixing to rip that apart. We're gonna clean it, put a little more grease on it, put it all back together. There might be a bad O-ring in there. So we'll have to see what's going on. Didn't take it easy, straight to the impact. Let's see. I'll probably have to whoop on that just a little bit. Look here. What's in there? Okay. Right there's an O-ring that's beat up pretty bad. We may have to change that out. And there's the piston and the O-ring on the inside of that. Here's the sleeve and that piece right there moves up and down, yet these two don't make contact. It's an air cushion between the two. Otherwise, it would beat everything in here all to smithereens. I still got to get that off. Now this is off. Pay a very close attention to orientation. You need to put it back together right. There's that. That fills right into that divot. You see how there's oil everywhere. That means there's possibly a, an O-ring leaking or something going on there. And we will want to try to, to, first of all, clean everything. And then we'll assess whether or not O-rings are bad and see if we need to change them. This piston goes up and down. It's connected right to uh, a crankshaft. So you can imagine if it beat directly up on the bit that goes into that bore. It would destroy the crankshaft, the motor, and everything above it. But because of the air cushion between the two, that's what uh, that's what allows it to do its job without being destroyed after a few minutes. The problem with this one was rather severe. See, that broke off the bit itself and was lodged in there in that orientation. There's the score mark on the inside of that cylinder. I'm still going to put it back together. I mean... It's not a very expensive tool, so I'm just going to put it back together and just see if it'll operate again to get another bit. Really, it's uh, the other scenario is this gets gummed up inside the bore. This is the bore to the point that it won't move back and forth anymore. And that limits any power it thought it had to begin with. Now, all this rest of this looks fine. It just broke to, it broke the bit. And it got lodged in there sideways. And if you've seen another one of my videos, you know what I was doing, and no, I wasn't taking it easy. So I'll get it back together and put together a, hey, uh, is it going to work again situation just in a few moments. Thank you. I've now put this section back on, just tightened it down. I'm not panicking over this. It's not a very expensive tool. Uh, it does get the job done. And now I'll put that portion back together. That will go down in there like that. I'm going to, I'm going to trim this. I don't know if you can see that burr. We'll trim that burr off. And then I'll put it off. That goes back in. Alright. That'll go back down in there. That'll go back down in there. Just like I showed you. Now yeah, then. That goes such as that, put the bolts on, and then we'll try it again. All right, here we go. I think we can agree. I found my problem. All right. Don't be afraid to take something apart. Just take your time, take each part like I did, and it makes sure everything goes back in the same order. You might find something as simple as I did. The bit had broke. It's still a functioning tool. It saved me from buying another one. So, thank you much. If you want to know how I broke it, look at the uh, escalation on the Kinky Tracks video. You'll see what I did, and I'm going to do it again after I get another bit. Thank you.